Andrew Cuomo. Some heavy-hitting Democrats were in Amherst Friday to make an election day push for Mark Polencars in the race for Erie County Executive. We are going to elect Mark Polencars, our next Erie County Executive. We need to change things, and we need to change things now, and change is called Mark Polencars. While Governor Cuomo's and Senator Schumer's support may have headlined the rally, a surprise endorsement came from Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown. Today, as Democrats, we unite to endorse Mark Polencars for Erie County Executive. Brown had remained silent in the county executive race, but he broke that silence on Friday after a special request from Governor Cuomo. The governor asked him and he, was, he complied. The governor of New York is an extremely powerful individual and um, he showed it today. Do you think the mayor would have given that endorsement had the governor not asked him to be here today? You know, the bottom line is he did it. The Democrats used Friday's rally to call into question the track record of incumbent county executive Republican Chris Collins. My opponent made the wrong decisions. That's the difference between the two of us. He doesn't care about the people of this community. I'm sick and tired of seeing libraries close and parks close, so we have no place to send our children. If you don't think Chris Collins has done a good job as county executive, you have an alternative. I will do a better job. Meanwhile, Collins was busy Friday on his jobs tour. He downplayed the Democratic support for polling cars. Mr. Polling cars, a career politician, is surrounding himself with more career politicians, and he's got them from Washington, he's got them from Albany, He's got them locally. Politicians endorsing politicians. It's what they do. I'm standing with small businesses who create jobs. Pulling cars declined talking with the media following the rally, saying he was going to have lunch with the governor and he wanted the day's endorsements to stand for themselves. In Amherst, Doug Sampson, YNN.